Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Now today I'm going to be making something called uh, Cano's or Rondo's uh, also known uh, as Almond Fingers. Now uh, Cano's and Rondo's are basically the same thing but in different shapes and they're uh, very popular in the Netherlands and in the UK we can buy uh, a version of those in our supermarkets and they're, they're known as almond fingers um, and they are delicious and they actually look like this um, now that's a pastry with a sort of uh, a spongy type cake inside which is flavoured with almond but in actual fact there's very little almond in that but in the Dutch version um, they are a pastry and uh, they are filled with an almond paste uh, which we're going to make. Uh, so they end up with a nice uh, crispy outside which is uh, like a biscuit type thing and inside you have the soft chewy almond paste and they're delicious. I mean these almond fingers are very very good indeed but I have to say that uh, the Canos and Rondos from which they came are actually even better in my opinion. So for the ingredients for the pastry I have 200 grams of uh, pastry flour. You, you could use uh, uh, plain flour if you want to and into that I'm going to put 5 grams of baking powder. Now you don't usually use baking powder in pastry but in this instance we do and I'm going to put in a pinch of salt and once that's in there I'm going to give that a stir around to start to get that mixed in a little bit and then there's only two other ingredients for the pastry and that is uh, 100 grams of uh, soft light brown muscovado sugar uh, or soft white sugar at a pinch you could just use caster sugar, 100 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of butter which is cold and cut into cubes and then for the almond paste I have 75 grams of ground almonds you could use whole almonds and, and blitz them I have 75 grams of caster sugar I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of almond extract just to give that extra almond flavour. Uh, about a teaspoon of lemon zest, that's the zest from half a lemon. I have uh, one egg but I won't need all of that and I have a little drop of water as well and then to go on top I have some whole almonds, you could use shaved almonds. So I'm going to put the almond spice mixture to one side for the time being and we'll get on and we'll make the pastry. Now you could do this in a, a bowl where you just cut the pastry, uh, the butter into the, the flour and the sugar, but I'm going to do it in the food processor because it's quicker to do it like that and there's actually um, less uh, mixing by hand, uh, which uh, over mixing tends to make the pastry less crumbly. So I'm just going to put the flour, baking powder, salt, sugar and the butter into the processor and then I'm going to blitz them until we have a breadcrumb like texture and then I'm simply going to use my hand to pull that into a dough. So I'll start off by pulsing. going to give that a bit of a, a scrape round the 
bottom to make sure they don't get any loose paste uh, flour mixed in. probably good enough now. There's still a little bit of loose flour but that doesn't matter. We can soon pull that together. So what I'm going to do is take some plastic wrap I'm going to tip the pastry out onto that. And where there's loose flour we'll put that into the pastry. As you can see it fairly easily pulls together and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to divide that into two parts because we're going to roll each part out separately. So with the dough divided into two, um, I'm just going to press down to flatten it a little bit and then I'm going to wrap that in cling film so both are wrapped up in cling film and I'm going to chew those for an hour before we actually use them. Now at this stage I'll just show you what I'm going to use to make my canos. This is the traditional cano ring and this is sort of this is the shape of the rondo ring. I don't have rondo rings and uh, they're the traditional shapes that they make in Holland but what I'm also going to do is just uh, to show you I'm going to make a couple in a muffin tin. Basically what you do with these is you put some pastry on the bottom, almond paste over the pastry, more pastry on the top, brush it with egg and you bake it. With this one you'll put pastry in the bottom but because the sides are sloping you'll put the pastry up the sides a little bit and then when you've put the almond paste in you'll cover it with more pastry but I'll just I'll do a couple like that to show you because I recognize that most people won't have access to uh, rond uh, cano rings like this so with our pastry going into the fridge we'll get on and we'll make uh, our almond paste okay so with our pastry chilling in the fridge we'll go on to make uh, our almond paste now in my immersion blender I have put the uh, caster sugar, the ground almonds, you could use whole almonds because you're going to grind them down, and I put the lemon zest. And I'm just going to grind those till they're a little bit finer, in the case of whole almonds, until you have them all ground down quite finely. <laughs> And that's actually as much as I need. So what I'm going to do is tip those out into a bowl. <laughs> I 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of almond extract this is just to give it a bit of extra almond flavour and I want to mix this together with a little bit of water until it starts to come into a paste now the recommendation on Weekend Bakery which is the website from which I got this recipe is to actually make this almond paste the day before to give it a chance to ripen well I do have some in the fridge which I made earlier um, but uh, I'll use this particular one for, for this recipe so with the almond extracts mixed in I'm just going to add about two teaspoons of water and see how that comes together now if you make this paste a day in advance as they suggest on that website you do not put any egg in at that stage you only put the egg in on the day that you're going to use the paste that way you can make this a couple of weeks in advance if you want to and just keep it in the fridge now that's beginning to come together and what we want is that we want it to be a, a stiff damp paste to which we then add egg to make it smoother Now I'm just going to use my fingers to see how that pulls together. See that pulls together quite nicely into a, a, a thick paste. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight away add my egg. And you only need as much egg as it takes to bring this together into a paste which is smooth enough to pipe but which will hold its shape after being piped so I've used there about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half and I think I have it just about the right consistency as you can see that's holding its shape quite well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into a piping bag and I'm going to put it back into the I'm put it into the fridge and leave it until we need it after we've rolled out our pastry so I'll be back with you to roll the pastry out and go on to make the canos when the pastry has chilled for the full length of time okay so our pastry has chilled and I've taken some of it out of the fridge now I have my oven preheating at this stage to 180 celsius that's 160 celsius with a fan 350 fahrenheit and I'm going to roll this pastry out until it's between one eighth and a quarter of an inch thick, about four millilitres, four millimetres if I can. Now it's still quite crumbly because as you will remember, we didn't add any moisture other than the butter into the pastry. But as with all pastry, you can patch as necessary. Um, and what we're going to do, this first rolling is going to be the bottom of our canos and rondos. And I want to get 10 out of, out of here. And so I have six of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, and 
two of the rings and then a couple for my muffin tin. So I'll, I'll roll this and cut out some and then I'll re-roll it to get the rest. So I think that's probably about okay. And what I'm going to do with the canos is just make an impression which I can then cut round to get the shape I want. And I'll take a knife and I'm just going to, with the, not with the blade end, but the blunt side of the knife, I'm going to cut round. So that that should nicely fit into our cano mould. So we'll also cut out the two circles and we put these on the baking tray and put the ring over them. What I'm going to do is cut out larger circles to go into our muffin tin and just press those down into and they'll be ready to have the almond paste put into them too. And so then um, we'll go on to put our uh, almond paste filling into our canos and we'll roll out the second lot of pastry and top them. So with our pastry all rolled out and ready um, what we do is we take our uh, almond paste and we're going to pipe that. I'm just going to cut the end of this bag off because it's too large for the camera. We're going to pipe a blob of that into the centre of our cano, uh, our rondos, should I say. And then we're going to pipe a strip of it down each of our canos. and put some into our ones that we have in the muffin tins as well.
like that and then for each one we take another pastry and place it over the top and push it down around the edges so that it comes into contact with the pastry underneath. With each of them covered what we do is we take some beaten egg and we brush some egg over the top and then we're going to put an almond onto the top of each one and just press it down a little bit not too much now you could use shaved almonds here if you wanted to And the final thing to do before they go in the oven is to brush them with egg once more. This is going to make them go a, a lovely brown, golden brown colour on the top as they bake. And with that I'm going to put them into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 20 minutes they turn a nice golden brown then I'll take them out and let them cool down and I'll come back and show you the result. Okay so I'm back with you and I've baked our uh, rondos and canos in the oven for 20 minutes and uh, I have to say they turned out very well. This is what they look like. So this is one that I baked um, in a muffin tin. As you can see the pastry uh, joins together and rises nicely and nice and airily. This is one of the rondos, which is the round one. And this is a cano which I've cut open so that you can see the almond paste in the middle. Now this is what's different about these compared to the ones that you could buy in the shop. In the shop uh, bought ones, it's like a sort of sponge cake. And if you look at the ingredients, they list they only have almonds as one percent of the total which to me is probably this bit that goes on the top and the rest i don't know what they they make it from they do taste good i have to say but let's have a taste of uh, these anyway mm. That pastry is lovely. It's slightly biscuity, but it's buttery and caramelly because of the sugar and the butter. And then you've got that lovely almond uh, paste in the middle, which gives it that, that lovely strong almond hit. You could add more almond um, extract to it if you want a stronger almond flavour, but personally, uh, I think these taste good just as they are. And I have to say the pastry is simply wonderful, but I do like buttery pastry. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on and it will take you to the recipe. And I'll also put a link below the video for that as well. And I will be back with you with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.